Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Angular video tutorial, we will see that how we can write our first unit test case. In the previous video, we talk about what is the testing automation in Angular basically, right? But that was only theoretical part. And in this video, we will actually make a test case and run it. So these are the points of the video. First of all, uh, we will see that what are the default test cases, which is already written for as in sample data then uh, we will make a new test file we will write some test cases here we will understand the test cases functions that how they actually work and then we will run the test cases actually right so i just uh, installed the fresh or uh, angular application so i did not continue with the last one because uh, uh, as you see in the previous video we just learned about the routings and modules and all much more things so I don't want to just rush the things and just make the complex with the already written code. That's why I just uh, downloaded the, the oh, fresh Angular application. And here you can see that this is running fine, right? So now for, first of all, let's see that how we can just run the test cases. Then I will show you that where is the default test cases and all, right? So just right here, ng test on your application and hit the enter. And it don't care that your application is running or not. It will just run its own port and our compilation things and all, right? So just wait for a moment. It just open a new Chrome application. Here you can see that. And here is already written here. Chrome is being controlled by the automated test softwares and blah, blah, blah. And here you will see that the three test cases are passed. Zero is failed. And uh, these test cases are named here, right? and blows the, our application. So from where they are just coming. As I told you in the last video, the test cases are written in the spec file. So just go to the app.company.spec.ts, then you will find that there's three test cases are written here. Uh, should create the application, should have the title of uh, this and this, and should render the title and kind of this, right? And you, when you just open it, now you can see that three test cases are written here. And the app component is described here. Right. This is a single function and it just wrapped up the three specs. Here you can see that, right? And we will just create a similar thing, uh, but just wait for a moment. So let's see that how they are actually passed here. So in the, f uh, I'm just not going to in involve the first one because this is a little bit complicated for our first test, right? In the sec uh, second one here, you can see that this is expecting that app dot title and it should be equal to the test blog. So is it equal or not? For that, let's go to the uh, property, uh, which is the app.title here. And this is the same. That's why this test case is actually passed, right? And let's take a one more example here, just uh, render the HTML and all, and it will just tell that in, uh, in the class of content, there should be a span and it, it must be a, content like test app is running here you can see that this is uh, working fine and if you just want to check it in the HTML then uh, just give me a moment you will find it here so it, we have a class dot content and it have a span and this span have this text here right so this is also should be passed. So now let's see that how we can create a new file for the test cases. So uh, is it required that we should ha only have a component for test cases? No, this is not required. Even you can create your single spec file also. So just create here like dummy dot spec dot ts file, right? And uh, here we can just simply write here something uh, similar to the uh, our uh, previous test cases which which are we just tested here right so just come here and just describe a test case so let's use a describe function and it should be have the two parameter one for the normal text like uh, i just want to put here like dummy dummy component right and then second parameter is a uh, arrow function and uh, for making the test cases, we can just use a it function. And first of all, it has a description like, uh, let's check amount, 
right then um, in, as in second parameter we again we have to use the arrow function and this function is actually actually expecting what is it's expect, expecting for moment we can understand like uh, it's an 100 and to be if I just put here some other value then it might be given error but we are expecting 100 that why for to making the uh, to passing the test cases I'm just putting here 100 right so uh, you guys uh, don't worry that um, maybe you are just thinking that why we are not getting the data from the component and why we are not testing any component because first of all I just want that to understand the basics of things in the next video I will show you that how you can make a function in this uh, like component file and how you can test it here and all right so don't worry because uh, there is a lots of thing I just have to tell you that how would I know that I have to just write here describe how would I know that I just have to put here it and all right so now let's see what we are getting here so when we just save it now the another one text case is, is uh, automatically compiled here and now you can see that we have the four pack three in the app component one in the dummy content right and all are passed here right so as uh, here you can see that uh, in this app component there is three test cases so we can also add some more here right so just simply write here like this and put here like let's check the characters and all and simply put here hello and it, it should be like hello right then the five test cases are passed here and the result is here all test cases are just passed so what if uh, something is failed then what actually happened then let's try it if i just put here hi then it cannot be possible that uh, we are getting we are expecting hello but we get hi that simply means this test case is could fail right so for that now you will find that there is a five specs one is failed randomized with the seed and this and this right and uh, they are just telling that we are expecting hello but we are getting getting Hi. that's why this test case is failed right so let's make it again hello so that it can be passed now this is working fine right so how would I know that uh, as I told you that I use have I have to use here describe it and uh, if I'm just inside the spec here then how they know that they have to write here query query selector to contain to equal and all so let's see here let's make it google that how we can find these kind of things so just write here testing angular and it will just guide you on the angular.io and but when you just come here you are not able to find the nice kind of stuff where is that uh, to be equal container and all you will not going to find here because they are actually not a part of angular they are the part of jasmine as i just tell you in the last video right and if you just go to the jasmine's official website jasmine.github.io and let's uh, just see the first one and then you can see that this is a similar like describe then we use it and expected value and to be value right so we use a different value it's totally up to us that what we want to do here and uh, for the more information there is a lots of kind of like we can just uh, test the node.js ruby python and there's a lots of uh, tutorials are here also right so if you just jump on the first one then there is a, again there's a lots of thing right so we will these learn these uh, things again uh, but uh, for that for now this video is fine in the next video i will just show you that how we can just uh, write some function inside the component.ts file and how we can test it easily right so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care